welcome back everyone. This is Paul Summerfield from Northcraft Analytics. I'm joined by Lee Cullum, our Chief Marketing Officer, and today we have another instalment of our Metric of the Month, where we'll be talking about part of our financial management offerings, specifically a cost variance metric focused on optimizing cloud costs. So those of you who have ventured into the cloud in any real way will know how easy it is to just launch a VM or stand up elastic compute, etc. But once you get to a certain scale, managing those instances becomes increasingly difficult. I've seen companies utilizing the age-old spreadsheet with a couple of people dedicated to the hamster wheel of maintenance. I've seen some try to manipulate tools that aren't quite fit for purpose and force them to report in a standalone fashion with no other ITSM or ITOM data integration. And I've seen others utilize highly expensive solutions that need to yield a payback in the seven figure plus range to justify the return on investment in the first place. But we'd like to talk to you about today about how Northcraft is helping firms realize legitimate savings without breaking the bank. The IT analytics applications that we're already known for in the IT service management and IT operations management fields is further enhanced by our ability to simply and transparently visualize data from your cloud providers to really bring IT, the business and your finance functions together to make fully informed decisions on cloud cost management and ultimately increase efficiency. So uh, with that, I'll hand over to Lee who will run you through our solution demo. All right. Thank you, Paul. So let's get started with an overview of the product line and then we'll get into the metric of the month so you can see the context associated with it. So um, within the overall product line at Northcraft that makes up the singularity flagship CIO dashboard, the installable CIO dashboard. We're working in the IT financial management discipline today. Uh, we've been broadening our products to where we cover Amazon EC2, Billing and operations, uh, those are separated into different disciplines, capacity and IT financial management. Azure Billing and Analytics, ServiceNow Analytical License Management, uh, ServiceNow uh, ITBM, which is, uh, that includes sort of both project and portfolio management and the financial aspects of the project. And then Office 365 license and usage. So we've moved from, you know, traditionally ITSM platforms into uh, DevOps and now FinOps and so our strategy is to have everything um, that the CIO needs to see in one spot across over 25 different analytical applications so that when you look at IT financial management in the context of everything in IT uh, it is maybe the most important part but it is just a part um, of the things that the CIO cares about um, so, you know, you better believe that a CIO cares about um, outages that impact critical business services. That's a piece of the dashboard. Um, maybe not, you know, business hours to resolve for every incident, but certainly for uh, the critical systems in the organization, which depends on the vertical. So IT financial management is just a part, even though it may be a large and important part and maybe the most important. Uh, in terms of the Northcraft suite, a um, number of different pieces uh, within IT financial management. So, um, you know, point solutions like our ServiceNow license management product, which gathers data from the ServiceNow application and shows you your license costs and the ability to drill down into um, millions of records um, to kind of prove auditability of your license uh, count back to the manufacturer. Uh, the IT financial management overview, and this is great for executives and that it just kind of lays everything out in terms of your uh, cloud spend and even on-premises spend within IT financial management. Sometimes you need to get a little bit more granular and that's where we're going to spend our time today just working on uh, this whole cost year to date and variance. So that would be associated with these different major categories of your public cloud apps, your public cloud compute, public cloud storage, like S3 within uh, Amazon. Um, so calculating all those costs and then giving you the ability to uh, get from the high level here, um, in all of these different key performance indicators, into granular detail in terms of you know, hourly billing associated with apps and instances in the cloud. Uh, Office 365 license usage, license and usage, which is becoming a large part of spend for many different uh, 
organizations. And then the project and portfolio spend pieces, and that's uh, from ServiceNow, uh, specifically their IT, ITBM product line. So a lot of different pieces. Any of these KPIs here that you see in IT financial management can be placed on the installable CIO dashboard, right? So we can move these all around uh, here and, you know, and remove ones that aren't important to us um, and, you know, emphasize the importance of others by, you know, moving them into uh, a spot that has more prominence on the Singularity dashboard. But again, today the focus is IT financial management so that we could drill from cost year to date into our more uh, granular dashboard within the discipline of IT financial management and look at variance. So this is our metric of the month. It is uh, the change year over year in these costs. So <clears throat> cost is a very generic term. Again, it's associated with each of these filters. So if your public cloud apps, uh, that's one filter, your storage, another, etc. The key is being to able, able to handle both the high level and then also um, then to drill into a, a massive amount of detail so that we can use it for accounting. Okay, so if we look at public cloud compute here, um, it's great to see our costs um, when we've got our various instances running within this particular discipline. And as I drill down to the next level, you can see here that we get into the specific instances um, and then we can drill down further into the hour so that you can have a you know really detailed hourly level combined view of costs and uh, operational metrics so that's critical in bringing these disciplines together because you know let's talk about the amazon world for a second you have cloudwatch on one hand monitoring and then you have the billing aspects, which are typically stored in those S3 buckets, and they need to be grabbed out and, and pulled together. And so the cubes, the multidimensional cubes that we pre-built for Amazon and Azure and, and the other products we've been talking about, um, they require some specialty APIs that we put together, um, the ability to handle very large data sets. Um, you know, a thousand instances running in Amazon can be easily a gigabyte worth of data per day for just the hourly billing piece alone. So um, you know, some other things you're going to want to do, and it's going to depend on the product line, but you'll want to look at, um, you know, if you have multiple accounts within Amazon, you want to bring that data together. Uh, all that is possible when we've got the multi-dimensional cubes on the back end. So um, when running in those in the cloud, you get massive scalability, the ability to handle large data sets, but also make the reporting easy. So no DAX, no scripting. Again, this is, you know, BYOBI works with Tableau and Power BI. Um, our preference is, is Power BI. It does work better. Um, but I think there is a misconception out there that Tableau does not work um, well with um, SSAS and the multidimensional cubes. And uh, we have some knowledge base articles that disprove some of those popular misconceptions, which a lot of times are brought about by the vendors who have one agenda or another in terms of what they're trying to sell. Okay, so uh, that's a look at the infrastructure spend, uh, license spend within ServiceNow. Um, we've got a whole video on that, so we'll move on. Just a brief look at Office 365 license usage. Um, this is something where we have a full video coming out. It's also part of this IT financial management suite. Um, and here the key is to get into the granularity, the license types, the packages you've purchased, how much we're spending, and then look at um, granular uh, you know, usage w with usernames, combine that with costs um, and the, the packages that you've purchased to make that data really meaningful and help you determine which user licenses are needed and, and which are, are not, um, which is a big part of the IT financial management suite within Northcraft and our analytical solutions. Uh, finally, the PPM project uh, portfolio budget, essentially. 
Uh, so we've got a portfolio within that we have projects and our various projects with their um, you know, the percentage completion, uh, the actual start and end date, the actual costs in this particular case. Um, so we're looking at the capital expenditures, operational expenditures, and again, the, uh, the change in those, the variance in those. So today we've been talking about variance. Um, here in the context of project management, um, it is, uh, you know, year over year um, has our uh, cost of capital expenditures been uh, in line with goals or not? Um, are we reducing costs here in our SaaS infrastructure spend in accordance with our goals or not? So uh, variance is uh, used within many of the different metrics. So to call it um, the metric of the month, we narrowed it down to uh, the one aspect of using it with public cloud compute. So that's our metric of the month for today is to look at the uh, variance for budgeting reasons associated with your cloud compute spend. Uh, but we did want to show you that you can go deeper than that and not just look at the aggregate view, but get into, hey, where have we increased or decreased among these various instances? Where are the zombie instances? As always, that's a huge focus for us and and in outlining those with uh, you know conditional formatting. Um, it, it's just to help you navigate through this just massive data sets and determine where the biggest bang for your buck is in terms of uh, in in terms of saving money on your um, cloud infrastructure spend, which is huge, obviously. And I think you know. If, a lot of organizations get into it and think, you know, that it'll just be easy to uh, uh, get some low-hanging fruit in terms of savings as we move from you know, data center into cloud. Uh, it's trickier than that, as you know, many of you have uh, learned at this point. So, cloud can be more expensive. Um, cloud can be less expensive. Uh, it, it really probably depends on the criticality of the service. Um, to determine whether or not it's worth it in certain instances to get the extra horsepower that you uh, can easily um, leverage from the cloud or not. Um, just to rely on your traditional data centers, which may be more expensive to build up from scratch, but you know, over the long period of time really you know, offer cost savings for, for certain commodity uh, enterprise applications and infrastructure. Um, Anyway, that's been our metric of the month uh, within our IT financial management suite of products, and we really appreciate your time. And let us know if you have any questions through the YouTube channel or through our website at northcraftanalytics.com. Thank you for your